For this experiment, we will use an electrostatic compass, a Teflon rod and rabbit fur, a cylinder consisting of 12 insulated copper strips, a conducting wire to connect the copper strips, and an overhead projector. We begin by polarizing the compass so that it always points in the direction of the negatively charged rod. You can see it following the charged rod as it moves around. Now let's take away the charged rod and place the compass inside our segmented shield. We see that the compass continues to point in the direction of the charged rod as it's brought near the shield. Because the copper strips are insulated from each other, they are simply polarized in the presence of this charged rod. And so the net electric field inside the cylinder is non-zero. If we connect the copper strips with a conducting wire, they become a continuous conducting surface. Now the compass is shielded from the rod. Since the copper strips are all at the same potential, the net electric field inside the cylinder is always zero as we move the rod around. You can see the compass needle just blowing in the breeze. Now let's leave the rod in a fixed position and carefully remove the wire. We see that the wire allowed the shield to produce a back field, which is the negative of the field produced by the rod. When we take the rod away, the compass points in the exact opposite direction of the rod, and we see that the back field is acting on its own. 